Hello and welcome to the Daily Word. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. You and I, we live in an ambitious world. We want to know who is the best, fastest, tallest and biggest. Television producers have capitalized on this and have come out with reality shows like AGT, Dance India Dance, The Voice, X Factor and many others. These shows have high TRPs because they feed on our desire to know the best. Let's face it, life is about winning and losing. This is why many of us keep score and love sports and board games. We want to know who's up and who's down. In the great game of life, we want to be in the lead. It is for this very reason that we see the mother of James and John approaching Jesus in today's gospel. In the great game of life, she wanted to make sure that her sons came out ahead. Everyone wants to be somebody. We keep working on ourselves, improving upon our imperfections, inculcating new qualities and making influential friends. Both the brothers, James and John, were ambitious. They wanted to occupy high places in the heavenly kingdom. Jesus' response to this is a bit confusing. At first, it appears as if Jesus was telling us not to strive to be great and ambitious. It is confusing because time and again we hear in the Bible that we humans were made for great things. The potential of a human being knows no bounds. Each of us are gifted with many qualities and spend our life improving upon them. But it appears that Jesus is saying that none of this matters. But what Jesus is really trying to tell us is that along with our ambitions, we need to accept the challenges that lie ahead. To be great is to walk on a bed of roses soft petals on top, covering the prickling thorns. He is teaching us that the greatest person on earth is the one who serves. Our qualities, our talents, our authority are of no use if we don't use them to serve others. So remember, Jesus is not prohibiting us to achieve greatness. All he is saying is that along with the perks of greatness, we need to accept the challenges thrown at us. Because everyone wants success and no one wants pain. But there isn't a rainbow without any rain. What can I give? What can I bring? That would be pleasing to my King. I'll give my heart not just a part and lifting up my everything well it's all i have to offer and it's all i have to give two hands one hand one life to offer you Let us pray. O oh Lord, teach us to walk in humility and compassion, Lord Christ, as companions in joy and sorrow with all the earth, which you created in unity for the sake of love. Let us dedicate ourselves to serving God and each other in love and faithfulness according to your commandment. Teach us to seek the good of others, O Redeemer, to serve rather than be served that we may embody your grace and mercy. By the part we take today, O God, may we shine forth the love of God into darkness, reconcile the world to your truth, and proclaim your marvels as your witnesses. Spirit of hope, kindle your light within us, and pour out your grace and peace upon those for whom we pray. Amen. 
Thank you for joining us on The Daily Word. Until next time, be cheerful, be holy and God bless.